Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review. Thanks for watching. This time we will another bit of Frankish Spills. This is from Brauerei Svanskjör in Ulefeldt and it's their pills in it comes in this NRW bottle as you can see. And uh, it's a very small brewery, this one that I've been looking forward to a lot. Uh, and there's two different breweries in this town, Ulfeldt, the other one is Prechtel. And I'm re reviewing the Schnappala Kellerbeer from Prechtel. Uh, which is the other uh, brewer from this town. So, uh, Svanske is, uh, as I said, a small family brewery which I've been looking forward to a lot. Uh, their uh, most sold one is their Forbeer, I believe, but uh, I did choose the pills to order from Landbeer Paradis webshop. I actually, I'm almost sure that this is the pills. They do all, all the time have this uh, top label also which says the beer style. Uh, but not on this one for some reason probably they were out of those ones or anything like that but as far as i can remember i did order the pills so this should be the pills but uh we'll find out later on when we open up the bottle i believe here you can see a closer look of the label of uh Svangsko, Kostov, Svangsko, in Ulfeldt, which is a great looking label and great looking logo in my opinion so uh an RW bottle as you can see as I said and let's start with opening up the bottle always right time for a Mittelfränkisches pills in my opinion so it's gonna be really interesting to to try it I always enjoy these small brewers so um let's pour it up like that and uh, it looks very uh, very dark for being a pills. So uh, I'm not sure right now if uh, if that was the one that I got or the four beer. Actually, not yet. But uh, let's get the aroma. And still, I'm not sure. So uh, let's give it a try. The Svangisko pills or Fallerbeer or whatever beer it is, but I did order the pills as far as I can remember, so let's give it a try. Post. Yeah, um, still I'm not sure, so that's a little bit hard to review since I don't know the beer style because they don't have a, a top label so impossible to review uh, or of course I can review and measure what taste it is but I don't know which um, which beer it is and it's not my fault uh, because it doesn't say anything here on the on the main label um, about what beer style that it is um, but the taste is of course what I can expect from a Bernstein Farbenes um, lager or full beer, it's uh, rich and nice and fantastic taste in my opinion. It's having a very very pleasant um, hops taste, I would say. A little bit of um, a sour hops taste, I would say, um, but it's very, very pleasant and really easy to drink. And I really understand why it's very appreciated by many in uh, in Franconia. This brewery. Uh, here's a closer look of the label once again, and um, information is Brauerei Svangskjer Ulfeldt, eldest private brewery in Eichsgrund, family and tradition site. 1639 Brauerei Gustav Svangske. Uh, telephone number is right here and the website uh, also. Um, and the uh, uh, 91486 Ulfeldt. That's all the information that it is on the bottle. Uh, no alcohol content, so I don't know what, uh, what beer cell it is yet, which is, of course, very, very sad.
but still this is um, testing fantastic and of course I'm gonna show to you the um, the books that I'm having about um, Franklin and Brewers this one right here and here you see that I have a very sewing skill right here looking very traditional and nice of course uh, Biototan Forbeer, Pils, Houseboy and Ulf Lovaise Maiske Tunken Forbeer uh, from the 1639 Anglo Eppert 1000 Hitlerkers, Prelfrey Gasthof and uh, Christian Sangskill Älteste Familiebrauerei des Landkreises Neustadt Eich Yeah, of course the real nice with this old family brewers and uh, we have of course another book as well that I want to show you um, but this brew is fantastic in my opinion and it's uh, this book right here and here you see Brauerei und Gasthof Zwangsbjör in Ulfeld looking very traditional and nice um, 1639 Christian Swagskill, annual output 800 hectolitres, 12 generationen Ulfeldobier. Damit ist die Brauerei von Christian Swagskill die älteste im gesamten Landkreis. Nach einer umfangsreichen Erweiterung und anderem einem äh, schönen Wirtgarten präsentiert sich das Traditionshaus mit einem deutlich aufpolierten Konzept. Und das im ganz positiven Sinne. Schließlich finden am jedem ersten Freitag im Monat das Hausbrauerfassen statt, bei dem das Hefetrieb naturbelassene Kellerbier namens Hausbräu verkostet und sehr günstig gekauft werden kann. Mit im Sortiment ein sehr herbes Pilz als Klassiker, das Vollbier und wie meist grundüblich auch ein vollmundisches Weißbier. Uh, wir sollten 20 Jahre Pils, Vollbier, Dunkel, Hausbräu, Ulfeller Weiße und 1639 uh, mitten im Ja, Brauerei und Gasthof, 20 Jahre. Also, of course, very, uh, very nice with uh, this brewery and Gasthof. I do also have the, uh, the website of this brewery, which I link to in the description box below, and I found some information on that website which I can uh, read through, if you're interested. We can probably look back on uh, 12 generations of brew tradition. The first bottling plant was built in 1935. In 1959, under the Günther the inn was enlarged and guest rooms were set up for the first time in the following years, the brew house was rebuilt and enlarged. In 1970, a large ballroom was added to the adjoining room, which was also enlarged. In 1996, Reiner Swanskill switched to fermentation tanks, and in 1997, our house brew was bottled for the first time. The first bottling, Ulfeldo Weisse, followed in 1998. The 12th generation of the Swanskills has been at the brew cattle since 2007. Since then, many extensions and modernizations have been carried out under the current boss, Christian Swangskill. Since uh, 2008, our guests have been able to relax in the beer garden when the weather is good and enjoy our, our specialties. In 2012, the popular Swangskill Dunkel was bottled for the first time. In 2014, the 1639 anniversary beer for the 375th anniversary of the brewery since 2015. There has been a special beer every month, which is always served to our guests with creativity and, as always, with the highest quality standards. That's it with the Brauerei Gastorf Swangskur in Ulfeld. And that's also for this review. So, I hope you like my reviews. Uh, and see you again in the next Franconia. Review, of course, which I really hope that you're going to appreciate. But that's it for now.